Hello, beautiful besties. Welcome back to the Hottie Life YouTube channel. You guys, it feels like it has been forever since I came on here and talked to you. I'm not even gonna lie. Seven days off of YouTube, seven days off of connecting with you guys feels like six years. It feels like forever. And those feelings are, oh my God, look, the star card just came out and just jumped right out my hands. So that is the sign for this reading all, all through and through. But seven days away from you guys feels like a whole lot. Before we dive into the details of the week ahead, and before I dive into shuffling cards, which of course I'm shuffling already, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and disclaimer of everything that's been going on in my life. There has been so much going on and it has everything to do with 2021. When I was in 2021, I decided that I wanted to manifest the most fun year of, or what was 20, 2020. I wanted to manifest in 2021 my most fun year because the years before that you guys know when I was in New Orleans it was so energetically draining for me I was focusing hyper focusing on breaking generational curses and breaking things that were in my spirit and my energy that were draining me and it was a really dark time so 2021 I set the intention that my energy would be lifted that I would have so much fun and so much light I was working with the bird of paradise candle as well as the nectar of life candle because all I knew was how to just be a workaholic and how to just show up and when i tell you i was working around the clock dude 24 hours almost this morning though i woke up went into my meditative space as i always do i was sitting with spirit and kind of reflecting on my french my friendships in the, in the year before that and of course instagram did like this recap of 2021 and i was just looking at how much fun 2021 was for me and how much i deserved it and how much how amazing it was and a lot of it had to do from the quality of the connection of my friends that i did not have before that that i set the intention that would show up and reveal themselves to me and they totally did I feel like the reason why I need to talk to you guys about this, and I'm not even kidding, as I'm shuffling you guys, see me shuffling, I'm pulling the Magician card. And the Star card. The stars want us to be happy. They want us to be joyful. They want us to be fruitful. They want us to be abundantly filled, not only in our pockets, but in the quality of the time that we're spending with each other. And Six of Cups, you guys, it's gotta be gentle, it's gotta be soft, it's gotta be nurturing, it has to be special. And these are some things that I really, really want to connect with you guys. I guess at the beginning of this video, I was not expecting to do this before I even dived into this chart or dove into this chart. We have a lot of changes that are upcoming. There are a lot of changes that are happening. Chiron retrograde still has my attention. We'll, we'll talk about that. We'll focus on that as well as Venus retrograde that is upcoming. That's going to be next week, not this week, but the following week, you guys, that's going to be throwing us all for a loop, all for a doozy, but it's so needed. It's so needed. So how are you guys feeling? Honestly, tell me down in the comments, what are you, Nine of Cups, what are you manifesting? What is your wish fulfilled? What is, where in your life can you invite in the energy or should you invite in the energy of softness, sweetness, reconnection, and tenderness? I feel like there's a lot, a lot of that. Are you having enough joy? Are you having enough play? And if not, you guys, don't forget about those aspects because they make life so, so sweet. I feel like that's why I have to start out this video um, because a lot of you guys are like, just make more videos. We are seeing this other side of you where you're way more playful. You're on boats, you're on the water, you're by the beach, you know, you're hanging out with your friends and your chickens and your dogs. But honestly, 10 of wands, you guys, it's because it's been a long journey for me. It's been a long journey, not only physically, but mentally, emotionally, and very much spiritual. Okay, and in order for us to have balance in this life, it can't just be the heavy all the time. And I will always go where spirit leads me. I will always go where the stars are guiding me. That is what I trust. That has always been my constant. You guys know that I'm a girl that was born into this world with a lot of ups and downs, ebbs and flows, highs and lows. That has always been, I'm not complaining. That's just been my, that's been the recipe for me. And that has defined me as a manifester that has defined me as a spiritual being that has defined me as a witch that has defined me as what i magnetized towards me and also it helped to highlight my own personal needs wants wishes and desires 
and I love that but at the same time I don't want to be a being that just carries the heavy load that carries the heavy work that carries a heavy burden I also want to enjoy my life I want to invite you today to also have the same energy is welcoming in the spirit of play and the spirit of laughter and the spirit of joy and lightheartedness don't hide away from it don't see it coming and then run from it because there's all these other things that you have to do you only have one life to live and i want you guys to have a beautiful spectacular one i want you to wake up every day and know your worth know your value know how beautiful and vibrant and stunning you are inside and out because if it's all work and no play ten of wands all the time it's going to energetically drain on your spirit and take away your essence and your desire to want to live life you know because that's all you can do is show up in these heavy ways it's good to show up and be of service of, to others. It's good to show up and be of service to yourself and those the ancestors, the ancestors that have come before you and have helped to pay the pave the way with their with their flesh, with their blood, with their tears, all of that. We honor them and we give gratitude for them. But at the same time, if it wasn't for their work, we wouldn't be able to celebrate who we are. Um, and this, and how far we've come as as humanity, but also as someone who's carrying the torch for our family that has come before us. And sometimes the best way to honor them is by laughing and 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 sitting down and really enjoying the rest. Okay, so I really wanted to share that message with you guys first and foremost. Okay, so let me know how are you genuinely how are you what are you working on what are you proud of what has been the hardest thing for you this year as we're closing out the chapter of 2021 and entering into 2022 let's we can measure this we can talk about this what has been the most tough or difficult lesson for you thus far and what has been the most rewarding one for you i'll start first i'll go first i don't think it's fair for me to come on here and just ask you guys about your personal life and me not share mine you guys know i'm notoriously private um but my most greatest reward this year has definitely been the quality of the connections that it's like made Mo definitely when it comes to my friendship circles they have when i tell you guys they have expanded my perception of the world i had a lot of fear for some things that I carried for a very long time since I was a little girl they made the things that I was most afraid of afraid of they made them safe they held my hand through that entire pro process and they've made me feel so invincible I have to give so much gratitude and love for them that was something that I never knew that I could explore that I could experience and if it wasn't for them I wouldn't have had this incredible magical year that has given me so much life given me so much joy given me so much happiness i will say that my greatest battle and my greatest struggle in 2022 was and is my ability to surrender to balance i am only aware of what it looks like to be at my desk and working the you know all every full moon every new moon working intentions for other people showing up for other people's emergencies trying to put everything on the calendar on the books and it has not been good it hasn't felt good and it made me feel really exhausted and it made me feel really sad because i wanted to go out and just save the world and save everything and save everyone look four of cups i actually this is so accurate i actually started losing my zest and my passion to to be available and i felt depleted and you know i that was my biggest struggle in 2021 was learning how to to i had already accepted it and acknowledged it but i needed to learn how to balance it out and i'm very very grateful that 2021 challenged me to balance that out to ask for help and to it, it you know to work differently to work um, in a way that would in, and then also to take a step back from YouTube and creating inf informative videos too because I'm a perfectionist and I just was you know really take so 2022 is the year will be the year numer um, numerically of harmonizing alignment and things really falling together finding your better half your other half and of course that could be relationships it could be partnerships friendships intimate rela relationships connections but it's also you harmonizing with your higher what matches your vibration 
And if that's the case, you guys, make sure that you are open to what you can manifest and attract and align with. If you do not like how you feel now, journal about it, get it out, and start to set intentions for what you do need, for what 2022 you want to bring to you. Um, that's really, really big, okay? Um, there's gonna be a lot of major meltdowns that are gonna be happening globally. I want each of you guys to be very powerful as aspects of our world melts down and, and floods itself. I want you guys to be safe, secure and stable. So ask for what is that you need now or begin to think about what is that you need now that is going to help you feel stable while things are kind of melting, melting away. And that's not a bad thing. As things melt, melt away, they evolve, they transform. And we are becoming stronger as a society. We're really banding together. A lot of people have been incomplete. A lot of people have been feeling disappointed, let down, disappointed. Did I say that twice? Um, feeling defeated, frustrated, left down and out. And spirit is, uh, that is going to be washing away. That is another thing that will be washing away and being pulled out of your energy. So we are going to rewrite the story. We are going to rewrite the stars. It's so funny that I'm saying that too because I was literally just listening to um, this song that came up. It just popped up in my head. And speaking of which, the stars, that was a star song, this, um, the card that jumped out. Um, rewrite the stars by the greatest showman. I think that's the, the movie you guys should watch it I'm not really big into musicals, but that one is very powerful The cards that are jumping out right now for us today are the temperance card the ace of wands reversed and the three of swords this Message that I want to share with you guys has everything to do with Regaining your personal fire and zest for life. Some of you guys I'm seeing cooking, I don't know why, but I'm seeing like someone zesting lemons. There's something about, if you're not actually doing this, it's about the, the things that you have saved in your life, the things that you have pinned on your Pinterest board, the things that you have put on your vision board that represent the ideal version of what you would love to experience in this life moving forward. What is that? What is that? There's something here that spirit is really calling you to, I'm hearing the word digest. There's something that you've been digesting. There's something that you've been, an idea, a thought, a vision of your life that you've been digesting, that you've been sitting with, that you've been breaking down. And spirit is saying, you know what? You've digested long enough. I, I, it's time for us to provide on this plate. It's time for us to not take the recipe that you've had pinned or this thing that you have put aside, but we are going to actively bring it into your, your reality. We're going to bring this into your consciousness. We're going to bring this into your awareness today. And are you open and willing to have these pieces fall together in your life? If we let this sit on the Pinterest board, if we allow this sit on the back burner, that's going to create your greatest heartache because your heart can sense that something more is there for you. If you didn't want something more for you, or if there wasn't something more for you, you wouldn't feel the desire to seek it. What you are seeking is a direct signal from the, from the universe, from the stars, that it exists and it's there for you to go find it. However, if you are seeking confirmation that you should not be doing this or that you're not ready or that you're not worth it or you're not capable, then that is what you're seeking is confirmation that is going to hold you behind. And as we're moving into 2022, what are you going to harmonize and align with now? What is going to give you your fire and zest for life back? And are you going to take it off of your Pinterest board and off of your vision board and bring it into life? Because what I can see is that what is actually hurting you is the fact that you are okay with and have been a little, a little comfortable with time passing without this coming into fruition. Some of you guys are like, Jess, I've done everything in my power in order to make 
in order to bring this to life, in order to make this exist. And this message for you today is don't give up hope. Don't give up that spark. Don't allow your disappointment and your frustration to make you feel like this isn't going to happen because it is actively coming to life now. There's something about the stars and looking at astrological timing and the planning and the mapping of all of the divine, divinely ordained chaos that's been happening in every single one of our lives that is telling us to trust the process. Seven of Wands, Five of Pentacles. You guys have been at this for a minute. You've been on guard. You've been feeling locked away. You've, you've been feeling overlooked. And this is the time... I also feel like for some of you guys, you, you really needed this time to kind of mourn some losses. Just as I started off in this video talking about what I've been work, working on, in my own personal life, I had to kind of step away from being so available on YouTube and on the internet and how often I post and how often I shared because a lot of me needed to recenter and reconnect and nurture and, nurture and stabilize what I lost. And what I lost was the curse. What I lost was the blockage. What I lost was the suffering. Those are things that I, un I was the treasure the treasure chest of my life they were sitting in this treasure chest right and the treasure chest is not only just the good treasures that feel amazing it's also the memories the photos and the things that are kept locked away and hidden and up in the attics i was actively for over two years digging through the treasure chest and sorting through those pieces of my life and making sense of it all and not only making sense of it all but mourning it and putting it laying it to rest and putting it where it belongs but I couldn't do that without first seeing it. And it takes me time to process and to see it and to feel it because I'm a human being too, just like you. And I needed that. So for, for a lot of you guys, I don't know if you guys can relate to this energy right now. I thought that we we're gonna talk about the week ahead, but I guess it's just gonna be intuitive message. <laughs> I'm totally down for that. But with the five of pentacles and with the seven of wands, a lot of you guys, oh my goodness, you guys, and the lovers here on the bottom of the deck, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's a lot of things that we have been rewriting and that we've been sorting through and cleaning out and that takes time. I want you to acknowledge and I want you guys to celebrate how far you've come. That's a part of the give and take process that Spirit is calling into your life right now if you're watching this video. And with the Three of Swords here, you guys, there are some major lessons, major moments in your life that you didn't ask for that you might have been carrying or that you've experienced for your own growth. It made you receptive, it made you open, it made you transparent, it made you vulnerable. Don't apologize for that. You needed this time for yourself without a doubt. This was a spiritually intense time of growth and evolution and you made it yours. And now that we're closing out this chapter, you guys, don't give up on what you've had pinned on your on your board or your vision board or what you've called out to the universe to bring to you to manifest. It wasn't that it's not going to happen. It's just that spirit allowed you the time to mourn and to, you know, do that sorting out that is that I've been talking about. And now things are really picking up and putting, you know, putting themselves in order. Having said that, there is a greater plan that spirit has for you that I really feel, especially as the, as the lover's card is at the bottom of this deck, it feels so faded. This is in the choices and the decisions that is that you're being called to make right now that Archangel Gabriel is showing up in your life today to ask you to blow the trumpet of truth in your ear, in your reality and say, Jennifer, are you ready to wake up? Are you ready to step into your full alignment? fill in the blank of whatever your name is. My name is Jessica. You could be Jennifer. You could be Katie. You could be Jeffrey. You could be Rachel. You could be Dan. Whatever your name is, right? We have the the world card here. Something major has been called into, com into completion and is a cycle that has completely ended itself out, that has lived the highest and lived the lows and has complete completed itself. And And we can look at that and say... I was a part of the divine alignment. I was a part of the divine plan. This part of my life totally melted down or this part of my life I needed to rest within. And that shows you that you were absolutely without a doubt a part of this divine plan because it was happening on such a grand level in, our, in the world, across humanity. And this also showed up in your intimate life, in your intimate aspects within your lives. 
So now that we're closing out this cycle, now that we're closing out this chapter, what are we accepting? What are we inviting in? What are we breaking through? What are we speaking in? What are we building? What seeds are we planting? Ace of Pentacles. This is not just for now. This is going to be for the long haul. Franklin, come here, honey. Come here. Let me see your face. I always say to my dog, let me, let's make eye contact. Come here. Because if we're making eye contact, that means I see what you're doing and I see that you're not getting in trouble. Speaking of seeing what is that you're doing and making eye contact, seven of pentacles, what is it that you're looking at? What do you want to build? You guys, this is so huge. Hanged man. Put things on pause just for a little bit before we enter into 2022 because something major is about to break through. I know that we hear this all the time, you guys. I know that we see it. I know that we hope for it. I know that we pray for it. I hope, I know that we are speaking in, into existence and we're manifesting it, but I feel this today. I feel this right now. The point of me making this video right, you know, right at this moment was to literally to start talking about the week ahead, but clearly I'm channeling because someone needs to hear this. Queen of Wands energy, High Priestess, and the Eight of Cups. We are saying goodbye, but we, as we're selling, saying goodbye, you guys, we are celebrating the fact that we are in the position to say goodbye. We are celebrating the fact that we are in the position to say goodbye. We are confident. We are receptive. No matter how you identify, the Queen of Wands shows the aspect within ourselves, the feminine aspect within ourselves that is ready to receive life, vitality, excitement, adventure, fun, abundance. It's going to buoy us. It's going to lift us up. Keep your eyes on, on Jupiter. Keep your eyes on Venus. Um, keep your eyes on the full moon and the eclipses because that is going to act as a major catalyst. I'm going to close this video right now. I'm going to send you guys my love. Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel if you're not already because we are going to talk about the eclipses. We're going to talk about the week ahead and we're going to talk about Venus retrograde and all those things moving forward because they are going to be major points to pivot, to be blessed, and to be powerful. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing, all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Mahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.